Jesus told stories called parables. And parables are stories about one thing that help us understand another thing better. Some of Jesus's parables are very short, like this one. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman mixed in with three measures of flour until all of the dough was leavened. Now, if you don't know what the word leavened means, that's okay. I'll show you that in just a minute. What Jesus was trying to tell us is that something small, like a little bit of yeast, can have a, a very big effect on something much larger, like a whole lot of bread flour. Now, I like to make bread, and so I thought I would make some and show you just how a little bit of yeast can do something really amazing to a whole lot of dough. First, I gathered up all my ingredients. There's three and a half cups of flour and two teaspoons of yeast. And it's kind of hard to tell in the picture, but that's a lot more flour than yeast. More than 80 times more flour than yeast. Plus a cup of water, a little bit of salt, and some olive oil. Next, I mix the water, yeast, and some of the flour in a bowl. I also added a couple pinches of sugar, because yeast likes to eat sugar. And that's because yeast is alive. It's like teeny tiny microscopic little plants. And yeast likes to eat sugar, and when yeast eats sugar, it burps out gas that makes the dough blow up like a balloon. So to make sure that the yeast is alive and hungry, you start it this way. And at first, it doesn't look like anything is happening. But after a couple minutes, you can see little gas bubbles. And after a couple more minutes, you can really see it start to get foamy and bubbly. And now that I know that the yeast is burping lots of gas, I mix in most of the rest of the flour along with the salt and the oil. At first, the dough is pretty raggedy, but then I start to knead it. That's where I push and pull the dough to mix it really well and make it soft and smooth and stretchy. It takes about seven or eight minutes. Once I can make a soft, smooth ball, I put the dough in a bowl and cover it with plastic. Then I wait for the yeast to really get to work, burping out gas and blowing up the dough. And that's what leavening is, where yeast makes gas that blows up the dough. Here's what it looks like when the dough is blowing up. This movie is sped up and it actually took about an hour for the dough to rise. And this is where we can really see how a little bit of yeast leavens a whole lot of dough. Then I took the dough and formed it back into a ball, forcing out most of the gas. Then I cut it up and made eight smaller balls. I let those balls rise again. The yeast was still busy. And this time it took only about 10 minutes for them to get a lot bigger. After that, I rolled them into flat pieces and baked them on a hot pan because this is flat bread or pita bread, and it's probably closer to the kind of bread that people ate in Jesus's time. And here's what all the bread looked like when I was done baking it. It's soft and chewy, and it holds together because of the yeast. Just that tiny little bit of yeast helped me to make all of that bread. What Jesus wants us to know is that something small, like a little bit of yeast, can still have a very big effect. Someone small can have a very big effect. Someone like you. Like if you are kind to other people, well, 
other people will learn to be kind from you. Or if you remember to wear your mask when you're in a public place, that'll help other people to remember that they should wear their mask too. Or maybe when you're back in school and with your friends, if you share things with your friends or your classmates, well, they'll remember and they'll learn that they can share with you and with each other. Something or someone small can have a very big effect. Let's take a minute and talk to God in prayer and remember that small things can still do amazing things. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for good things like bread and yeast that makes it possible. And thank you for small people who can show big people what is good and what is right. And thank you for all of our young disciples at DPC who bring us and you such joy. And we all say together, Amen.